the result of a mathematical formula. Depending on variable combinations of power, weight, and grip needed to overcome friction. The Nissan Delta Wing dramatically rearranges all of those components without changing the original goals, speed, and endurance. At its first public testing at Seabrink in Florida this week, the car demonstrated why Nissan believes this radical design may be the future of racing. At just 1,300 pounds, including driver and fuel, Delta Wing weighs half of a comparable endurance racer, uses half the fuel, and needs little more than half the horsepower to generate top speeds approaching 235 miles an hour. Fundamentally, the car is a balance between the weight and capacity of the tires at the front of the car and the weight and capacity of the tires at the back of the car. And each end is in balance. So essentially, uh, the, the, the front of the car, very light, small tires as a result, but has a huge leverage on the center of gravity and that gives it the ability to change direction incredibly responsively. With its needle-nosed dark night looking design and carbon fiber chassis, Delta Wing looks as exotic as anything on asphalt or on salt flat for that matter. But Nissan's interest in the project isn't just about more efficient, more responsible racing, it is Delta Wing's relevance to road car development. Nissan have become involved in this project because it is something completely different. We say we're about innovation and anyone, even if they're not racers, can see that this is an innovation within motorsport and that's why we've done it. It's a fantastic project for Nissan and a lot of the stuff that we're going to learn on this project will be able to cross into our road car development. They hardly look like cousins, but Delta Wing and the compact Nissan Juke share the same bloodlines. Delta Wing's 300 horsepower engine is a highly tuned version of the Jukes engine. The Delta Wing project is an incubator for innovation, and Seabrink is only the first public demonstration. In June, it will be racing in the 24-hour Le Mans endurance race as the only vehicle in an experimental class. At Le Mans, a lighter load with reduced necessary horsepower and fuel consumption should result in fewer tire changes, fuel stops, and brake swaps meaning less time in the pits, more time racing. The real message here is, is that where you think historically our thinking process has been going faster, uses a lot more fuel, uh, you know, it's a lot of trick stuff, it's a lot of carbon or lightweight materials or special engineering. And this car just kind of walks away from that. It's not simple anymore to go faster than the conventional cars. Certainly if you took half the fuel away from uh, the Le Mans winner, uh, believe me, they would go a massively slower. Um, and our goal is to go the same speed. So from an innovation standpoint, the whole car represents an innovation, whereas the details are actually quite conventional. We're innovating, we're pushing on the boundaries of the gasoline engine, which is important for all of us, you know, not just the racing community, but the world as a whole. The concept is obviously a winning formula. And for that part of racing, or any kind of driving, that is not a mathematical equation, Delta Wing certainly says plenty about that too.